हाई व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अवर् चानल दिस इज किशोर पालवलसा सो प्लीज सब्सक्रैब अवर् चानल टील नौ एनी वन नाट सब्सक्रैब ओके इन द प्रीवियस सेशन आलरे वी आर गोयिंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबउट सो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स आफ् एच डी सिलिंग्स एंड आलो वाट इज द अड्वांटेज एंड डिअडवांटेज आफ् एच डी सिलिंग्स आल दोज थिंग्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग ओके नौ टूडे वी आर गोयिंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबउट टेर्मल इक्विपमेंट आफ् एच डी सी ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम ओके टेर्मल इक्विपमेंट आफ् एच डी सी ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम ओके बेसिकली इफ यू आर अब दिस टोटल एंटर डायग्राम यू कैन क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड वन थिंग ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एच डी सी कन्वर्टर सिस्टम ओके हियर ओनली वी हैव टू ड्रा द वन एंड ऑफ द एच डी सी कन्वर्टर सिस्टम ओनली वी हैव टू ड्रा हियर ओके सो कमिंग टू द so why we can call it as one end of the hvdc converter system here so means so simply here the total conversion of power from ac into dc so furtherly we have to not draw another conversion here so the total power which will be converting from ac into dc and further and also the total dc power which which will be flowing to the throughout the entire dc line and final which is fed to the like a, again to the another converter station okay but here another converter station we are not drawing here so that's why this representation diagram we can simply called as one end of the hvdc converter system okay so all those things so further now we are to discussing deeply okay let us see first of all what is the representation here and what is the terminal equipments may be consisting of all those converter station so now we are learning okay so coming to the here so first of all so if you have this here there are two types of converter station will be so takes place here so one is acts as a like a rectifier station and another side acts as a like a inverter station okay so that's why here the total power which will be converting from so one form of energy to another form of energy so that is like a ac into dc and further dc to ac vice versa takes place here okay and also coming to the here so first of all if you are after this so coming for the representation of all transformers here we have to represent it like a single phase transformers here but the actual representation may be contains each transformer may contains like a three phase transformer why because here we are so bulk amount of power will be transmitting from the generating station to load center so that's why here we are using three phase transformers okay so we because from the generating station may be contains like a various sources here so that is like a either conventional sources or non conventional sources basically we are using here conventional sources so that is like a either thermal power plant or else also called as like a nuclear power plant or else also called as like a hydro power plant so these main conventional voltage sources which is we are using here so any one we are using here so from that particular conventional sources we have to so fed the ac supply to the so particular bus bar or like a grid here okay so this representation so from this we have to fed into the ac supply to the so particular transformers here all those like a three phase transformers okay so this is the three phase transform and also this is the three phase transformers all those are the three phase transformers here acting like that okay so from the three phase transformer we are using here so if you are after this here so 12 pulse converter we have to represent it simply but actually so if you are after this so this is like a 12 pulse converter unit and also this is the 12 pulse converter unit okay here so this is the one of the 6 pulse converter and also this is the one of the 6 pulse converter if you want to connect those two which is connect in series then only it is acts as like a 12 pulse converter okay so similarly like this here also this is like a 6 pulse converter and also this converter also like a 6 pulse converter if you want to connect the those two which is connected in series so finally you can get the like a 12 pulse converter unit here okay so, so 12 pulse converter means basically in this we are using like a so different types of various thyristors unit thyristors units okay so means so in this converter system also using 6 thyristors and also in this converter system also using six thyristors okay so totally finally we are getting 12 pulses from the so 12 thyristors okay here also 12 thyristors is there and also further like here based individually three phase transformer which is connected to the each six thyristors here also this three phase transformer also which is connected to the six thyristors okay r y b terminals like that representation 
here connecting okay so total overall representation and total how to basically the three phase transformer which is connected to the so six thyristors next class we are clearly learning okay no problem but basically we have to representation all those things very very important okay so if you are after this from this ad side like this so the total 12 pulse converter systems actually like a rectifier station here so from the TSC supply with the help of all those transformers we can step up the voltage basically okay that voltage which is given to them so each 12 pulse converter unit okay so with the help of these converter units we can generate the number of pulses okay here basically the all those thyristors which is generating pulses with the help of by the either PWN technique or else also called as like a SPWN technique with the help of all those DC. that pulses may be contains in terms of DC so that DC power will be flows to the throughout the entire smoothing reactor and also finally which is fed into the other side of the converter in the side of the converter station okay here we have to not draw to the other side of the converter station means so that side converter station also here I actually like a inverter station only we have to draw the, the total DC power will be flowing to the entire DC link and also finally so the output of the DC power we have to represent it like a, in terms of VDC so means that is like a, the DC voltage or like a DC power we have to represent it like this across the total link here okay and also here smooth reactor is there here this is after that convert station so total line will be actually like a DC link here the total line will be here like a DC link so in the DC link maybe contains like a smooth reactors also okay so that smooth reactor is like a acts as a like a filters okay so these are the filter components oh because so coming from the all those converter station the output will be dc in the dc we are not getting to the pure dc so means that is like a pulsating dc we are getting basically pulsating means from that particular pw technique or spw technique generate to the like a pulsating DC so that is not pure DC in that maybe contains some ripples also there so, or are some unwanted signals will be takes place here that particular ripples or are unwanted signals can be removed with the help of all those smoothing reactors all those smoothing reactors means so these two are actually like a filter here these two are actually like a filters here okay and also the final DC power which is flowing to the other side of the converter station that is actually like a inverter station basically so actually how can we judge that this is like a rectifier station and also in the side is a inverter station how can we justify it means and according to the direction or a connection of thyristors we have to indicate as so that is like a either rectifier station or else also called as like a inverter station okay please, please clearly understood what i am saying okay so first of all if you are after this those two 12 pulse converter units here okay and also here the total thyristor valves which is connected so front side of the with respect to the overall so transformers here so according to this representation so this is actually a, like a rectifier station and also in the side for example if you want to draw the like a inverter station at the output of the dc here so how can we represent it so that representation can be we have to simply like the reversal of the all those thyristor valves the reversal of all those thyristor walls then we can get to the inverter station okay means so according to the connection so if suppose the thyristor walls can be way to reversely represented like this so at the time we can simply act as a like a inverter station this is actually like a inverter station all those like this all those like this if you want to represent it like this all those act as like a inverter station at the output of the dc at the output of the dc okay so with the help of this inverter station we can again convert from the dc into ac so finally so finally the total power which is fed to the load centers okay so we because so finally a requirement of consumers are also called as like a load center may be contains like a ac so that's why again we are converting with the help of inverter station from dc into ac power furtherly that can be where to fed into the particular load center okay so that process may be contains here so but that is not represented here so basically we are drawing here only one end of the hvdc converter station so that's why we can simply call it as one end of the hvdc converter station why because at the inverter station we are not drawing here and coming to the here so total 
thermal equipment of a HVDC converter system here. So basically the total like a smoothing reactors and also like a some different types of various filters, different types of various DC filters at the DC outside maybe contains if you want to go for like a AC outside the AC outside also may be contains like a different types of AC filters also there. So coming to the AC filters that is like a single tuned filters are also also called as like a double tuned filters and also both the high pass filters and low pass filters and band pass and band basic filters. So all those filters may name is reduction of harmonics, reduction of harmonics at the AC ad side as well as if we want to go for DC ad side okay in the DC ad side also in that also some ripples may be contains so that overall ripples can be reducing with the help of all those different types of DC filters okay in the DC ad side also may be contains like high pass filters and low pass filters and band pass filters and band basic filters also we are into that particular specifications we are using at the DC at the DC outside basically the total harmonics can be reduced with the help of all those AC filters that is like a single tuned or double tuned filters like a high pass and low pass and band pass and band basic filters so all those filters may name is reduction of harmonics reduction of harmonics at the AC ad as well as if we want to go for DC ad side okay in the DC ad side also whenever the DC power would be flowing to the entire DC line link in that also some ripples may be contains so that overall ripples can be reducing with the help of all those different types of DC filters okay in the DC ad side also may be contains like high pass filters and low pass filters and band pass filters and band basic filters also according to that particular specifications we are using at the, at the DC ad side also okay so coming to the here so all those we are using circuit breakers or various types of isolates also we are using between the bus bar system and the three phase transformers so to protect the high voltage or high power whenever the actor which is protected to the overall entire line here and also here so basically here we have a representation of one link from this point to from this point so basically this is like a hvdc links this means already we are learning to the so different types of various hvdc links in the previous session class okay that is like a either monopolar link or bipolar link or homopolar link whatever may be that okay so depending upon the our load requirement and also our specification we have to use the various links okay so if you are after this overall entire diagram you can clearly understood one thing why we are converting from ac power into dc power total dc power which is transmitting through the dc line and also again we are to converting from that dc power into ac power so why we are so conversion takes place from one form to another form of energy mainly we can reduction of transmission losses mainly we can reduction of transmission losses means with that conversion of from one form to another form so mainly we have to reduction of transmission losses so that losses can be we have to reduce with the help of dc links with the help of hvdc links so that is like a either monopolar link either bipolar link or homopolar link okay so this is the today our class subscribers if you have any doubt please put on the comment box i will give you a reply each and every question and also for the next class we are going to discussing about back to back hvdc coupling system please stay on thank you one and all